Okay, so we need to figure this out today. I need to figure out why the Traxxas Rustler is so popular. I'm really excited to have one now here on the workbench. I get to share with you the new version of it with the Magnum 272R transmission which is really awesome. We've got the VXL version, that's how it comes. And we just need to take a little bit closer look at this truck. Let's head over to the bench here. All right, here we go, a freshy rustler right out of the box. Now the two-wheel drive Traxxas rustler, it maintained the same look over the years as far as the body style goes. We do have new graphics on here. There are three different versions of this graphic. We've got the rib tires up front and uh, spike tires in the rear, black chrome wheels, of course. And what's really cool about the Traxxas Rustler is, is it's got that performance of a low truck. So you can really mash on a throttle and you just carve some really cool tight corners if you need to. You can rip around the backyard with this thing in low grass because you know it's got truck tires on there. It has a bit more ground clearance, but not so much like a monster truck where it will want to flip over in the corners. That's where the, the performance handling comes in. And I think that's one of the reasons why this is so popular. All right, let's pull the body off. Here's the chassis. Now, I believe this is a revised chassis. I haven't had a Traxxas Rustler in a really long time, but it looks like it's got the smoother version of the chassis. I think back, way back when there was a step side chassis. Uh, so pretty neat looking chassis, nice and compact. Again, everything is low slung. You got that low center of gravity. That's what makes it handle so well. The suspension also works really well. Check it out, oil filled shocks up front and uh, it has the newest shock caps on top. I also like that the VXL version comes with the adjustable turnbuckles. That's really cool. Same out back, we got long travel shocks and turnbuckles, H-arms. And I'm gonna you know, kind of throw something out there that I was told a long time ago by a uh, RC car designer. I'm not gonna say who, but he told me that Traxxas got their geometry right on their cars, especially their two-wheel drive versions. And it wasn't a designer from Traxxas, I will say that. Uh, but it is a very prominent designer in the RC world. And I think that's another reason why it's so popular. It's just a very easy to drive truck, very nimble, very useful in all types of situations. All right, now again, this is the VXL version. So we've got the VXL speed controller, 3S capable, there's our Valenian motor and uh, you know the rest of the electronics are stuff that we've seen before we've got the waterproof radio box and you know what i think that is another reason the traxxas rustler is so popular it's water resistant so you can go run this thing wherever you want in the mud light rain and stuff like that and just have a lot of fun with it and people love that now let's concentrate on the big change here this is the 272r transmission uh, we've got a updated differential in here which is oil filled so it's got a lot smoother differential action to it. It's got a lighter oil in it than the drag transmission. You could swap out whatever oils you want in the gear differential. So if you want to go and tune this for whatever reason, you finally have that option. All metal gears on the inside. There is two pinion gears actually, one for just standard running and then over there in that pile of stuff that comes with the truck is a high speed pinion. And that is another reason why people, I believe, like the Traxxas Rustler VXL. You can hit some really high speeds with this truck and just have an absolute blast with it. And we need to go out and run this thing. Enough of me talking. Let's go see why everybody loves this truck. To get it going, we're gonna need a battery and charger. There we go, a Traxxas Easy Peak Live and a new 5,000 million 3S pack. Let's go throw this thing on charge. And yes, I'll put it in the LiPo bag in a minute. Now I gotta throw some AA batteries in the radio system. Green light, battery's done. Let's go drop it in the truck now. Now it's time to head out. All right, drivers, time for some classic basher fun, and that is just find yourself a big dirt mound and have fun with your RC truck. All right, here we go. 
let's just go launch this truck. Rolling into it, nice and easy. Oh, <laughs> big crash. Look how fast that thing is. Oh, pulling wheelies off of rocks. Little loose in the rear. Oh, oh, big hit. <laughs> this truck takes some hard hits. All these tracks with vehicles, man, they go through a lot. A lot of entry level people get into RC through these things. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that power just ripping up the front wheels. Yeah. Almost needs a wheelie bar. <laughs> so cool. All right, one more. Oh, hard hit. That had to have messed something up. Now, yeah, we're good. Let's go. <laughs> it's time for a speed run. Let's swap out the gears. To hit 70, we need an optional pinion and spur gear, which is sold separately. The included optional pinion in the kit will get you up to 45. So now I'm gonna cheat. I know air is gonna get underneath this truck when I'm going for a speed run and wanna flip it over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the front. To do that, I'm gonna put spacers inside the shock under the piston to help lower the front. All I'm gonna do is use the spacers that came with the kit to do it, or you could also use fuel tubing and then fill the shocks back up with oil. Look at it, the front of that thing is slammed and it actually looks really cool. Obviously this is just for speed runs, but this should help keep the truck down. And actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go and throw a drag slash wheelie bar on the back just because I wanna make sure this thing stays on the ground. Speed test, we're here. But the question is how fast do you think the Rustler VXL is gonna go? Pause the video right now, put your guess in the comments section below. We'll see who is the closest. The truck is on, quick test. All right, let's start up the GNSS. Track, start. We should be good to go. Let's do this. Spin it around and roll onto it. Awesome time driving the Rustler VXL. Had so much fun ripping this thing around in the dirt, going off of jumps, and it is fast. But what's really cool is that 272R transmission makes the truck a lot more consistent. The only thing you have to worry about now is wearing down the tires. Those small pin tires will wear out, and that's when you'll start to do donuts. But this thing is just so much fun. I had a blast with it, took it to a bunch of different places, and even spooled it up for a speed test for you guys. We hit 63 miles an hour, and it was getting a little sketchy to drive and I found out that one of the rear tires came unglued but you know what this is just a fun off-road machine so I'm just gonna pull those limiters back out of the shocks and have much more fun with it in the dirt and that's where I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it one problem I did encounter with the truck is I bent a rear shock shaft and the rear shock caps are leaking so if you're gonna go with some big air jumps you're probably gonna want to do a shock upgrade I think this truck is gonna be around for a lot longer because it's just a truck that works it's fast it's fun and there's a ton of hop-up parts already available out there so you could hop it up however you want to.